What's going on, shady people? Shady Penguin, you welcome you back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. Before we get started, if you can, please show some shady love to that like button, which right below the video is completely free. And if you do, every click saves a penguin. So it's just fantastic. But today we're going to go ahead and challenge Rust Burrow's gym leader, Roxanne. Actually, we're going to check out the gym, our very first gym. Let's step inside and see. Ooh, girl, what you doing? <clears throat> Hello. You must be a new challenger. I am Roxanne, the Rust Burrow City Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply and battle all that I've learned at, at the Pokemon Trainer's School. That's why they're obsessed with the school. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. Look at old man Leroy Jenkins with the suspenders wanting to help us out in the bow tie. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers, and that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader here, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. Oh, we got it easy. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand water, grass, type. Come see me afterward if you beat the gym leader. Well, okay, sweet. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and use based Beldum because whoo -hoo, rock types also can't stand steel types. And hopefully these little guys will be able to get pushed over by a Beldum. And that would be awesome sauce banana pants. You are challenged by Youngster Josh. Youngster Josh sent out Geodude. 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 <laughs> So, Geodude is going to come out, which, I mean, our grass that could have easily bodied this thing. Maybe we should have done that. But we're going to go for an Iron Head. You can catch a bunch of Iron Heads, Geodude. And that's going to do a lot. And we're going to eat this tackle up. It's only going to do two to our shiny Beldum. I love it. I love Beldum. First, I thought it was going to be terrible because I thought it would only have takedown. Then, last episode, we learned all those moves are viable and available for him. Based grows to level 8 and learns Wing Attack, which is fantastic because I think we have a positive attack nature. We're going to stay in with Beldum again. And we're going to go ahead and go for the Iron Head. I believe after this, after this gym battle, we're going to go ahead and turn off the experience share for a little while to kind of let our Pokemon flatten out. It's a crit! It's a crit! Hey! So, we're going to go ahead and take another tackle and then we're going to Iron Head this Geodude to death. That's no problem for me. Based Beldum is going to go ahead and level up again, which is nice, which is nice. Gained absolutely no speed, which makes sense because you're a hunk of metal with golden feet. Or not even feet, they're points. You can't walk around, that's why you don't gain speed. Oh, look at this. I like, I love the design of this gym. Look at all these fossils and stuff. Oh, look at that view. Look at that. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. She's up there on a pedestal. Girl, what's you doing? How you do it when you do it? Oh. If you can't beat me, you won't stand it. I could have skipped this trainer. could have walked around. I ain't about skipping trainers right now. I am not about skipping trainers. Challenged by Youngster Tommy. Sends out the Geodude. Geo, Geo, dude. Geo, Geo, dude. Geo, Geo, dude. Geo, 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 dude. <laughs> nope, I'm done. Sorry. There we go. Dude, level 10 this time. Ooh, trying to step up your game, girl. Gonna outspeed us, go for a tackle. And is that a crit? It's not a crit. He just did a lot. Uh, two Iron Heads should still be able to take him out. Which is awesome because our Beldum is putting in the finest of work, being able to just let let let's let our Trico go ahead and not have all the limelight, even though I'm sure Trico could body everyone in this gym. Pretty sure Trico could just body everyone. And Beldum, Beldum gains boosted because it was received over the internet. So Beldum's actually going to level up kind of fast, which is awesome for us, so that we can get our hands on a Metagross sooner rather than later. Uh, what I want to do is I want to restore you. I love the being able to restore from that screen because I actually didn't click my bag. Because I'm going to leave Beldum in front. I want Beldum to shine. I want Beldum to be the star of this gym. So we could see here. I could go around her, but I'm going to go ahead and challenge her. She has like a sand pit in here. I'll make you feel the power of the number two trainer at this school. Yeah, that's her. She's number two. How does it feel to be number two? Why are the two smartest person girls? You know, I've noticed that though. Let me know in the comment section below. If you go to school, in your class, if you're in like a smaller school, or in one of your, whatever your favorite class is, is the smartest person you, if you're a girl, or is the smartest person a girl in your class? Do you find that girls are smarter than guys when it comes to scholastics? Let me know in the comment section below. I think it's a rather interesting topic. And, uh, just what you think about it. I don't really like school that much, to be honest. But school, well, I loved, I loved, uh, I shouldn't say that. I love education. I love, like, elementary school, junior high, and high school. I really do. Uh, enjoy it while you're in there. Seriously, you might think it's a burden. You might think it's annoying, but it's a, it's nice. That's 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 some stuff that I miss a lot. And we easily beat Georgia. 
You fell to number three. I didn't even go to the school, dude. I didn't even go to the school. What are you talking about? You fell to number three. You're still number two in the school. We're already here at Roxanne, and I'm, I'm feeling confident. We have a nice team. We're ready to go. We are ready to go. Ooh, look at this. This is nice. Nice. Just as I expected. I knew that you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? Oh, she threw the hand. Where is Murray when you... Oh! Girl, what's you doing? Challenged by Leader Roxanne, all that empty badge that just spins next to them. I love it so much. I believe they did something like that in uh, X and Y anyway. But Geodude is going to open up. We've been seeing Geodude nonstop. You're just so lucky I, I'm taking it easy on you. You're so lucky. I could have opened up with a Trico and Giga Drained. Oh. You want a Rock Tomb. You don't get the speed drop. I'm sorry, bro. That's weird. Every time my Breloom uses Rock Tomb, it gets the speed drop. Wait a minute, did they change it? Wait, no. No! Wait, if they change Rock Tomb, who knows what else they changed? Did they really change Rock Tomb? I'm almost positive that every time Breloom uses Rock Tomb, he gets a speed drop. Unless I'm wrong. If it's X and Y, maybe it's not. It's a crit! But, wow, someone let me know in the comment section below. It, 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 did, did Rock Tomb always get a speed drop, or am I just imagining that? Am I just imagining that? I could be imagining that. Beldum is just sitting here pretty. Uh, base grows to level nine. Nose pass? You know what? I'm almost ready to just let Smog beat you. You know what? I'm going to go into base. We're going to go into a level 9 Wingle against a Rock type. Oh, that might not be the smartest move. That might not be the smartest move. <laughs> taking a risk here. Taking a risk. Taking a risk. Let's see what we can do. I mean, it's not it's not the end of the world if my Wingle faints, but it will be the first faint that we have. Oh, that does nothing! <laughs> Nexus is going to kill me! All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. I don't know why you're able to take water gun so well. Nose pass. But I'm going to mega drain you and be a 2 a KO, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, you miss your rock. See, Smog is so intimidating. He makes you miss rock tombs. I love it. I love it. He just says, no, no, no. And that's amazing. That's amazing. Smog grows to level 15. Uh, Malevolent grows to level 12. Based miss at, misses out on some fantastic experience. All because of my stupid rocks. I mean, you guys know how we do. Even if it's not in an LP, uh, in a Nuzlocke. You guys can read that text. But she knocked out one of my Pokemon. So I am not reading it out loud. I am not. I refuse. I refuse. You give me that badge. Yeah, we got our first badge today. Absolutely fantastic. We got our first badge. All Pokemon up to level 20. Even those you get in trades will also be you... And please take this with you. We get Rock Tomb. So now we can actually see if it says there's a chance. I mean, it has to. It also lowers the target speed. I guarantee you I'm forget. Oh, you know why? It did not never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Ignore my stupidity. I already figured it out. Beldum, what ability do you have? Clear body. <laughs> I always forget about clear body. But yeah, Rock Tomb cannot lower Beldum's speed because of clear body. So we're going to go ahead and we can run straight out of here. Talk to Leroy Jenkins. Oh, what a breathtaking victory. My cheering must have worked. Great, check your trainer card. The stone badge you got should be recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. Very promising. That's it? I thought you were going to give me something. Why would you tell me to see you if you're not going to hook me up? You don't got the hookups? Oh, here we go. Out of the way. Move it. Uh-oh. He did steal something from Dev Devin Devoncourt. Wait, please! Don't take those pots! Alright, so it looks like we got our hands full. Team Aqua's up to no good. We're gonna go ahead and run back to the Pokemon Center first, though. And restore some HP, because that's what you do in Pokemon. You go ahead and you heal your Pokemon back up. You make sure they don't faint repeatedly, because you'll never be upset. And Base is already pissed at me. He's not gonna go outside when I take him for a walk. He's not gonna go outside when I take him for a walk! He's gonna poop all over the furniture now. You know that Wingles poop everywhere. You already know. They don't actually learn how to control their bowel movements until they're, you know, fully grown. Whew! So let's go ahead and chase after Team Aqua. Team Aqua. Team Oh, you there. You're the fantastic trainer who helped me in Pedalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Divin parts back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Alright, so that's our job right now. 
We're just a kid and we're helping this old man who can't do anything. How do you not have any Pokemon, bro? Bro, how do you not have any Pokemon? Beldum has been seen a lot. We're going to go back out into Mallory as our uh, main Pokemon for the rest of this episode. I think we will get a Grovile, which is awesome. I think we will get a Grovile, which is awesome. Route 116, a new route. Oh, yeah. We scared that Zigzagoon off. My Pokemon and I rule. Check us out. I remember this area of the game now. We got to go to that cave over there. Youngster Joey! There he is, Youngster Joey, although he does not have the Rattata like he should. They did go ahead and show the name of Youngster Joey in here, kind of as a uh, homage to the original. We're going to go for a bite, just because it's Stab. I think Thunder Fang is actually a bit stronger. I want to say it's a bit stronger, because Thunder Fang is like, doesn't it have like base 50? Oh, no, no, it has base 55, I think, so it's not stronger. Never mind. I gotta check what, what base damage it has. All I know is that I really like having Thunderfang. Malevolent's gonna gain some experience. Everyone's gonna gain experience. Go send them a chop. We are gonna switch out. Uh, we're gonna go out into Beldum because we can go for a Zen Headbutt. I could have gone out into base, though, with the wing attack. I really could have. I really, really, really could have. But we did not, sadly. Let's go ahead and go for the Zen Headbutt with the Beldum. Karate Chop, that's neutral, but I got Sky High Defenses. It's only going to do seven. Seven, not six, but seven! Zen Headbutt should be uh, a one. It is a one-hit KO. Machop cannot stand it. He cannot stand it at all. Beldum's going to gain a boosted amount of experience. Going to level 11. And we defeated Youngster Joey. Oh, Scrape. Oh, a Scrape. Oh, bo oh, bo oh, Rimmel. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that item. We got a potion. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 boy. Uh, what do we want to do here? Didn't we want to do something? No, we're going to keep it the way we are. We want to keep it everything exactly the way it is. Free item? Items. Free items. Nope, no free items. Okay. Fine. Forget it. Oh, free item. I see it. Oh, a battle. My bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. Yes. Why don't we battle? Let's do it. You're challenged by bug catcher Jose. Jose, 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 Jose. Jose, Jose. Let's go ahead and Thunder Fang this little Wurmple up. Because I believe Bug resists Dark. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like they do. We don't kill it. We snag nothing off of that Thunder Fang. And I'm going to go ahead and just go for a bite. Just, just, just so I can learn. Quick Claw YOLO! See, is bite? No, bite is not resisted. Never mind. I was wrong. That's why I wanted to check early on. Maybe I'll remember it later on. You guys know I forget things 24-7. Nintata. You want a Nintata? Uh, I feel like I should go into the base. I feel like Based needs to get some actual battling prowess in. It needs to practice its wings and its water-spitting ways. Speaking of water-spitting ways, I think that would be the best move for us. Let's go for a water gun. How much will this do? That actually looks like a water gun. Ooh, it does a lot, girl! What you doing? You on the up and up! Wingle's on the up and up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's kill that Ninkata. Dead. 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 Oh, base grow to level 10. That's what I like to see when I see it, how I see it, why I see it, where I see it. Silcoon. Jeez, all, you got a lot of Pokemon, bro. What the heck? It's a good amount of Pokemon. I think we're going to get a Grovile soon. We're definitely getting in this episode. I'll tell you that right now. We're going to have a Grovile. We're going to have stage one. Up from a basic. Stage one uh, always gets confused. A lot of people, well, look at this thing. It looks weird. I honestly have never seen it. Uh, I never saw it in X and Y. I mean, why would you? Honestly, when, when, when would I see it if I'm a competitive battler? Or if I play competitive matches, rather. I'm not really competitive. I'm silly pants. But, I mean, I want to be competitive. I just am terrible. So, let's see. Thunder Fang is going to go ahead and go in. I guess it's not that bad. That could be worse. <sighs> going to harden twice, but it's not going to matter. We can go for a bite. Oh, yeah. I want to check. Because I keep using Thunder Fang. Check moves. Base 65. So, oh, and base 60. Never mind. Bite is a lot stronger than Thunder Fang. Bite is a lot stronger. That's like 25 points stronger, actually. 25 points stronger. Silicon is going to fall to my bite. Malevolent. Mallory is going to gain. I lost. I thought I had you. Meh. Meh. We found a Repel. That will be useful at some point. I'm sure we're going to want to Repel Pokemon away as we progress through the story once our team is a little bit higher up. Oh, okay. We're just going to run and then force a Pokemon to jump in front of us. That's fine. We just found a Repel, but we're going to do the opposite of Repelling. We're going to Attract. We're going to Attract instead of Repel. Awesome. Zigzagoon level 7. We're going to run from you because I couldn't get away. 
Oh, you're so lucky. I'm in a good mood. Otherwise, I'd body you right now. Now I get away safely. Thank you, Malevolent. You're a dog. You should be able to run fast. I don't know what's going on. Your little, little zigzagoon keep you in check. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. What adorable Pokemon do you have? What adorable Pokemon do you have? Challenged by Last Janus. Sent out Meryl. Uh, let's see. Um, 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 we can go for Thunderfang. That's right. Yeah, Meryl actually is power, so I'm not gonna doubt her saying that her adorable Pokemon's power. Meryl is obviously adorable, and it's obviously power. That did nothing, and then she's gonna get a rollout off. Oh my goodness, and that was super effective. You got an Evil Light on that Meryl? That's double. That's double quick quick claw. Oh my Lanta! Somebody call the press. Somebody call the press. We got double quick claw up in here. Meryl's just gonna fall back. Got him. And then we're gonna go to level 13. 13. What an interesting number. I actually hate the number 13. Odor Slouth. Slouth. Sleuth. Slouth. Enables a ghost type target to be hit by a normal type of fighting type moves. Nope, we don't care about that because we have dark. We have dark moves. Why would we. We're gonna. We're gonna. Obviously. Obviously gonna hit him with a dark type move. So why would I want. Why would I need to sleuth the odor? Why would I wanna fart all over the place? I don't understand. Where's your logic? Where's your logic? Let's continue on through. Trying to avoid some wild encounters. Up, oh, I think we did. Boom! We're if the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. Just spoken like a true hiker. Spoken like a true hiker. Hiker Clark is gonna come through with a geodude. Geo geodude geodude. Geodude 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 geodude. And I think I'm gonna see I wanna see how much a bite does. I'm really curious how much a bite does. Because I know he's got really high defense, but I'm levels above, and it's stab, and that is a classic to it KO. That's awesome. Nice and clean too, AKO. My goodness. My goodness gracious. Malevolent gains experience. Beldum grows to level 12. Small grows to level 16. You already know what that means. And to celebrate, you know, no, let's go to the base. Never mind, because we can water gun. We can let base get some experience. And I know that he's gaining experience no matter what, but I want to go ahead and let him practice he's got to practice you got to believe that pokemon is more than just experience no no all of our pokemon are getting a lot of defensive evs right now and he's got the sturdy he's gonna defense curl big mistake big mistake i can go ahead and use a wing attack right now in fact i won't because i still want to look i love the way <laughs> squirting water look water gun looks water gun looks fantastic <laughs> Base grows to level 11. And the rest of my team gains experience points. I love it. Gasp, gasp. Losing made me tired. Gasp, gasp. Gasp, gasp. Our first evolution! Woo! Oh, so sick. So much better. Look at that aura! That aura is Dragon Ball Z! This is Dragon Ball Z! Frieza returns! I should have named you Frieza. Smog evolved into a Grovile. Now he's smug. He's going to be so smug. He's going to be so smug when he's a Sceptile. He's going to be so smug. He wants to learn Fury Cutter, which is a bug type move. I'm going to go ahead and say no. Good against grass types, I guess, but I'm going to say no. Because we're going to eventually, we're going to teach you cut. I guarantee you're going to be our cut user. What is this place? Tunneler's Rest House. What's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. That tunnel's filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that the goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon into an uproar. Alright, so I guess uh, that's our job is to go into that tunnel. Well, oh, you guys see this? You guys see this? There's something fishy about this spot. Maybe with the right Pokemon move! Hidden bases. I can't wait. I can't wait to have a hidden base. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Now, of course, this is going to be our Alpha Sapphire LP, but we will have other series. We will be using my game cartridge, my English game cartridge and stuff, where it's going to be my actual game where I play and where I live and where I love. Uh, we do, we can teach someone cut, but for now, we're going to worry about that on our way out of the cave. For now, we're going to get in the cave and make sure we finish up. You guys hear that? The helicopter out there. We found a Pokeball! We haven't been using Pokeballs anyway, to be honest. No Pokemon have really caught my eye that made me want to go, hey... Let's add you to the team. What? Are you coming? Come and get some then. All right. You want me, you want to play that game? I'm down. I, I got my level in out front. I'm ready to go. I don't even care. You know, no, 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 no. This is gonna be the last battle of the episode because it probably will be because we're at 20 minutes and we're gonna switch. 
We're gonna put smile right out front, and we're gonna make you poop your pants. Grah, kill all it all! This hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless, and to think I made a getaway into this tunnel to nowhere! And you! Now you're here to battle me! Really? So here we are, waiting and ready to battle Team Aqua! I'm challenged by Team Aqua Grunt. Opens up with the Poochiana. Actually, it's the only Pokemon that this guy has is Poochiana. So I'm gonna go ahead and feel comfortable just going for a Mega Drain. And this will easily be a 2-hit KO. Boom! Come on, oh, see, look, pointless move. See, that's how you know Team Aqua's a bad, they're a bad team. Look at them, they're a bad team. They're just teaching their Poochiana's Odor Sleuth. What did you get rid of for that, Thunderfang? Or you didn't even have Thunderfang, that's how bad of a trainer you are. <laughs> well, we easily wipe out this Team Aqua Grunt with my Grovile. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the experience share off right now. This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some Devon pa parts from Devon. Tch. You want him back that badly, then take him. So we got the Devon parts. Devon parts. Devon. We also got Pico. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. My Picos are life and freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Brighty, and you are. Oh, so it's Shady, is it now? Then I sincerely thank you, Shady. If there's ever a thing I can do to help you in turn, don't hesitate to tell me. If I'm not to be found, it always, if I'm to be found, it will always be at my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, high time we're on our way home. Picro, Picro. So this was quite an accomplishing episode. We went ahead and we stomped Team Aqua. We got our first badge. Now I'm gonna teach Cut to someone. Uh, to Hu though, a sm see Smaug is the only one that can learn it. I, I'm almost tempted, I'm almost tempted and I think I will. I do think it's, I think I'm gonna look for a Zigzagoon and I'm gonna catch it and I think it can learn Cut. And I think it's important to do so. No, you're Ninkata. Look at this Ninkata on the screen. What a foolish Ninkata. Ninkata, Nin, Ninkata, Ninkata, Nin. I really would like to find a Zigzagoon. I don't know if there's one here. I'm hoping there is. Where's this, where's this? I don't see it on there. I really don't want to waste cut a, a spot on Smaug. Then again, we have Absorb right now, and we have Pound. So it's not like I'm really too worried about what moves I'm gonna have at this moment, and I can always delete it later. I think that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. But I do want to explore every nook and cranny of this game, which means that I have to- Oh! Oh no! That might be a Zigzagoon. We might have just missed out on it. Or I think it'll still be there after this battle. It's just another Ninkata. Ninkata Nin. Ninkata Nin. Let's hope that's a Zig- No, because Zigzagoon would have his tail pointing out. This is a dark one, so it's probably something else. We'll see what it is. Let's scout it out. I really hope we find a shiny during the selfie. Oh, he's gone. Never mind. I wasn't even running! Well- Another Ninkata. These Ninkatas are all over the place, popping up left and right, thinking they own the place. You think you own me? You think you own me? Yeah, I'm running. I stay running for tomorrow. All right, let's see. Holy encounter, Batman. Ooh, a Whims Whismer. Whismer's cool because x is amazing. Uh, do I want one on my team, though? Nah, because I use, I use, I use x a lot competitively, so I'm not going to take him. I'm not going to take him. I'm not gonna take him. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're finally gonna make it here. When we ah, uh, let's teach. Let's just teach Smaug Cut. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Let's get rid of Pound because there's no reason to have Pound and Quick Attack anyway. So let's get rid of Pound for Cut, which is kind of Garbo. I understand that, but we don't have an HM sleeve, so. I'm going to, we're going to cut our first tree. This is an episode of first. First badge, first evolution, first cut. And I'm going to save right here. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like rating. Come back very soon. We will have the next episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire LP up. We're just going to keep pumping these out. This whole weekend is going to be filled with this LP. And I'm just, I love you guys so much. So thank you so much for choosing this LP to watch. It really does mean the world to me. Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it shady.